So, thank you very much. I've only had 30 minutes to... Charlotte would have done a better job on this, but what I wanted to, to pick up on um, was influencer marketing, um, but to view ourselves as influencers. Um, because I think that's where we need to start off first. You know, the work that Ali and, and Yanis have done is, is good. But I think, you know, in terms of influencers, people do business with people and, and digital sometimes is, is a barrier a way of get, that gets in the road of things. I'm a, basically a business consultant um, that works with destinations. I've worked here in Glasgow. I'm also a director with our guy on the Isles. So is, there's Janice there, so Kilchurn Castle, the Cobbler, all of these different things. And I've just recently taken on this role. And, and, and the reason why is because the destinations keep doing the same things. They keep churning out the same campaigns, targeting the same people in the same way. And it's the first sign of madness that you're looking for different results. They're looking to grow engagement or looking to increase visitor numbers. And it just doesn't happen because, you know, the, the, the world, the competition is getting greater. Media, consumers, the world is changing at a pace and destinations and the businesses within it need to change as well. But in doing that, I think they need to come to events like this because you can't do a digital campaign unless you actually know what the other person's goal is, what's their values, what they're trying to achieve. But a lot of people are sitting behind Twitter accounts or Instagram accounts and expecting some form of collaboration and it, and it just doesn't happen. So in digital engagement, um, you know, this is a sort of reverse funnel. Um, we all know the, the, the businesses and, and people that are at this bottom end, okay? They like and they press love and they might put a comment. And as you say, Janice, that's just not getting seen. And, and even when you're trying to amplify content, that's not enough just to say, yeah, I like it, really endorse that content. What we need to do is, is get remarkable content. And Janice and Ali showed you what real remarkable content is, because you need people to comment on it. You need to, them, to get them to take an action. And, and the only way that you do that is there's no fast forward and there's no recipe that pulls that content together. That comes down to good planning, curating the content, getting the right copy, getting the right imagery, getting the right weather, whatever it may be, getting the right brand partnership. So that means that we need to take ourselves away from our Hootsuite account or Facebook account and out of our business and go and meet and have a discussion with other people. And that's what I mean by influencers. The influencers like Ali and, and the Highland Collective, they just do their thing. And the reason why I asked Giannis was, about tagging his, his content is my destination or Gail doesn't know that that content's been created because they're not being alerted to it. And that's not Yanis's fault. That's the destination's fault, that they're not listening for those cues or looking for those cues or even thinking about brand partnerships. We should be all over Trespass. We've got some of the most amazing landscapes in Scotland, yet we're not doing it. So what I'm trying to do in our Gail is bring that type of thinking and, and that digital engagement and move digital from direct messages or Facebook messages to actually sitting down and meeting people and having a discussion with them. And only then, when you look at people in the whites of the eyes, can you build a relationship. And more often than not, people will do things for free. They'll, they'll over-deliver. Um, and they'll maybe run a campaign much longer than you had hoped. You might pay for a three-month campaign that turns into a partnership for three years. And the only, you know, everybody's going to win out of that. But that doesn't happen by sending emails or picking up the phone. You've got to go out and meet those influencers. And by influencers, I mean other businesses within your destinations. And more importantly now is, you know, the customer journey and, and your brand is owned by the consumer. You know, we've got, we, they don't see boundaries between experiences. So unless you start sharing those, that intelligence between each other, you don't know the things that our customers are interested in. So what I'm keen to do is, is move people up this pyramid from the quite passive liking and, and commenting up to that curation, which Yanis has done a, a much better job than me. And, and my priorities, when I'm sitting, whether it's a business or whether it's a destination, these are the things that I, I just, the four things that I try and encourage them to keep simple. And, and the first one is we were given, um, you know, two years and one mouth for that reason. Um, we should be listening to what people are saying about our brands, our places, 
our businesses, our experiences. And, and all too often I see um, lots of businesses, people are saying wonderful things or negative things about their brands or, or they're bypassing their business and nobody's engaging them. And that is so important. We can get hung up about creating wonderful content, but you can have all the wonderful content in the world, um, but if you're not engaging your customers and getting them to do business with you or to stay with you or to spend with you, then it's fruitless. So, you know, I don't need to tell some of the tech guys, but tourism businesses and others are not using these tools. You know, Google Alerts, Hootsuite, all these things are free. And, and sometimes when I mention them to them, it's like, what's that? You can use things like that? I'm alerted to anybody that mentions my castle or my destiny. Yes. Um, and, you know, and the same with Twitter chats and, and, and lists and different things like that. So, you know, this might seem trivial, but do it if you haven't done it. You know, and I, you know, I, I meet with small businesses all the way through to large businesses and you get a myriad, you'd be surprised at the large businesses that don't look at Google Analytics, don't have some of these basic free tools set up and they're using them. The other thing is data and insights. You know, I think your content should be created based on understanding of your customer, understanding of your market. And again, all too often people don't have, you know, everybody's my customer. In this day and age, not everybody is your customer. You have to be laser focused in terms of creating a piece of content or a campaign or some form of engagement and, and responding to them. So, you know, looking at the insights and, and, and nailing and getting much closer to um, the data is, is something that I'm passionate about. And, and it's not for everybody. But at least, you know, bring analytics to your board meetings, your team meetings or whatever, because you need some way to be improving yourself. If nothing else, use it for continuous improvement. And again, a lot of tourism businesses are really hung up and worried about saying something. I need to say something every day or, you know, every two days or whatever. But if you're saying something and it is not of any quality, people, it doesn't get seen anyway. So you'd be better off saying less focus on creating a piece of quality content and making sure that you sweat that piece of content as much as possible. And that's where, again, if you create a piece of content, can you speak with a hotel brand or another brand to embed your video in their email list? Um, it doesn't need to be just through your own channel. Very often, you know, I've supported some businesses in here, you know, you need to take that step and go and meet with these people. And the worst that they can say is, no, sorry, we, we don't do that. Or no, um, it's not appropriate for you as to promote your content. Um, if you don't ask, you don't get. And, you know, as cheeky Scots, you know, we, 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 we whilst we have a bit of banter and others, you know, we, we, we struggle a wee bit sometimes to take it to that next stage to, to, to make an ask. And then to get to the nub of it, you know, that content and, and those channels. Um, some of the stuff that Yanis and Ali have showed is just embodies this. You know, it's that unique access. It's getting to the places that you couldn't get to before. Um, streams, stories, really rich, engaging content is important. But equally as important is this sort of link building and, and, you know, getting that content to different places, whether it's PR channels or it's to influencers um, or if it's just to the media themselves, because getting those inbound links to your business will help your, your business fly. Just sitting in beautiful isolation with good organic traffic or paid traffic sometimes just isn't enough. But the reason why I think influencers is important, it's about that amplification. That's why you need them. That's why us as individuals are influencers of each other, or you've got influencers such as bloggers and vloggers and, and others who are influencers of consumers. So everybody's an influencer um, and, and we've all got a role in terms of curating and collaborating our own content. Um, you know, we're all sort of, there's lots of user generated content out there. So tagging people and, and you know, into your content so that they can then share it um, and amplify it is important. And some of the stuff that, you know, the guys have talked about here is about key opinion leaders, you know, people who are looked up to in their sector, in their game, or in their part of the world, engage them, because they, you know, they, they will value that as well. And that's just having that confidence of sending that email, picking up the phone, or, or coming out to a networking event like this, and, and having a chat with them. So this is, for me, is, is where the tech bit is. It's just getting smarter. And yeah, it's all about setting goals and things like that. But the smart thing for me is having many more conversations. 
because if you don't have that cup of coffee with somebody and you don't start that conversation, you just don't know where it could lead up to. And the reason why I'm, you know, I've grabbed Ali's card, I'm going to speak to Yanis, is they're sitting on lots of content that I'm going to ask them to, to use so I can embed in my new website that's going to be launched in a couple of, a couple of weeks. But if I hadn't come and hadn't met Yanis, I wouldn't know. You know, I'm sorry, but I haven't found your business by, you know, any other means. So here, there's a brilliant opportunity for, both for him and for myself, and it just shows you the, the power of it. So for me, the reason for being smart is it's all about this. It's about the 80-20 rule. It's, you know, 20% of your, your effort or your content will deliver 80% of your results. So it is about focusing in on creating that remarkable content, building remarkable relationships, because it will pay dividends in the end. Um, and, and a lot of people need to maybe step back and have a plan and have a strategy and, and start building those relationships to, to get the content that they need. So for me, just where the influencer stuff comes in, you know, whilst you do all that relationship building, you do also need to make sure that your, your website's all singing and dancing and you've got a hub for all of that content. And as I say, I only had 30 minutes to prepare and I found this slide. So, um, but basically that just shows you how complex it is. Um, but, and that's why planning is so important. You know, you can't just go day by day thinking that you're going to have the content that your customers or your destination needs. There has to be a bit of planning to it. And where the influencer side of things comes in, it is about this point of view content. And if you take influencers in this example, this is where the, they can deliver for you. There's lots of different things that they can do for you. And, and as I say, that if you take that, we are all influencers of each other, this is what you can do. You know, somebody, if you don't get to know me, you might not know that I'm interested in whiskey or that I've got a young family. And I might, you know, once you start to understand me as an individual, you could then maybe think, oh, Daniel could maybe contribute to my blog or he could contribute to my networking event or he could contribute to my team in some way. Um, and there's lots of different things. Uh, lots of people will come with fresh ideas and points of view. Um, they may write a blog or do a review on you or create a video, but equally bring somebody in here into your business and ask them, to reflect on the direction that you're going in because all too often we're looking inside our business and you know we're not going to criticize ourselves but we you know other people can bring different ideas and um, a challenge or opportunities your way but if you don't ask you don't get and in the end it is just all about that experience and where influencers come in is you know I, i'm now an ambassador for wigwam so, you know, I, I now know him, I, you know, I may speak to another brand and who's going to be the first company that I might rhyme off and say, pick up the phone to Wigwam, they're perfect fit for your brand. So it's all about giving people that experience and turning them into ambassadors or advocates for your business. And that goes for B2B. It's not all about B2C and getting influencers and bloggers. We are all influencers and um, ambassadors for all of our businesses. I don't think sometimes a lot of people view that, um, you know, we may feel that we're a wee bit isolated. I may be wrong, um, but, you know, I do think that we probably need to be more positive and more engaging um, and positively influence ourselves. Um, we're not turning up here for free pizza and beer, surely. It's, it should be to, to, to some other end. So as I say, you know, make sure that you deliver that experience and, and you build these ambassadors and advocates for your business. And that's me.